Version 4.5 is on its way and I am excited to see what is in store for us. I know it isn't going to be a massive update, but regardless, it is an update. With Chiori, we are going to be getting new events and new banners for us to pull on. I am excited regardless, so we are going to watch the version 4.5 special program. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's watch the version 4.5 special program together. Hello, travelers. Welcome to the 4.5 special program. Why, My thank name is you. Zach Aguilar, and I voice the male traveler. Today, I'm hosting with an old friend, right? Kirara. My name is Julia Gu. I'm the voice of Kirara. I love Kirara. I'm Brittany Lotta, the voice actor for Chiori. I'm really excited to be on this special program with you guys for the first time. Very <laughs> curious everyone, about Chiori. My name is Valeria Rodriguez, and I'm the voice of Sucrose. Also sweet, very sweet to be here. Sucrose. Let's give everyone a chibi applause. Woo! That was so cute. But seriously, this is an incredible crew, you guys. Now I'm even more curious to know about the contents of version 4.5. Yeah, same. <laughs> Why don't we find out by taking a look at the version 4.5 trailer? Ooh. Yeah. The trailer go. out of the gate. Wow, I can't believe I'm putting the key to shaking up Mondstadt's entire wine industry in my own two hands. <laughs> I can just see it now. Oh, the yeah. I love Diona. Also be used to turn water into wine. Alternatively, a strength-enhancing potion could make it so that Pinewood could take down an abyss mage all around. What? How are we supposed to make a potion like that? The pain from walking on all that rough. Yo, let's go. Never there. With this in my arsenal, I bet I could deliver two hundred orders in a single day. Excuse me. Coming through. Coming through. Oh, there's Chiori. Your shipment's here. Need a bit of letting out around the middle. No, just ran into a bit of trouble. <laughs> Ooh! What is that? My own. No one Here we go, baby. Me. Let's see what she already has. Oh, dual blades. Let's go, Tomato. Let's go. Delicate has silk. Next customer, the speed is on the case. Okay. Is Chiori here? I'd like to return my outfit. What kind of rag are you trying to sell us, huh? You didn't get bought out by my competitors, did you? All right. Okay. I like it. Redemption code. <laughs> That's awesome. Welcome back, travelers. I'm sure that everyone's keen to hear more about the new version. <laughs> Let's get on with it then. Unsurprisingly, our first bit of information relates to our newest character, Chiori. Woo! Yay! <laughs> huh? It's just a piece of fabric? Huh. Why was it in the box? Whoa, it's actually really beautiful. A professional designer like Chiori is very strict about her materials. Hmm. She probably uses unique fabrics pretty frequently. No. Are those cherry blossoms? That makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. I thought that Chiori left a really strong impression at the Fontanalia Film Festival. Yeah, definitely. You could get a really good read on her based on how she dresses and the way that she talks. Ooh, I agree. She seemed firm and decisive. Like the kind of person who always says exactly what she means. Mm -hmm. I also get the impression that she's not afraid of going after what she wants. <laughs> yeah, it must have taken a lot of effort for an Inazuman to become so successful in the Fontaine fashion oh, industry. Oh, I didn't realize that she was from Inazuma. A lot of skill and talent. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. You know it. You all seem pretty familiar with Chiori already, but you might not be aware about her combat abilities. So, let's take a moment to appreciate her fighting style. Let's fighting. I'm very <laughs> curious. Is she going it's to be to my pole? I want to be and to cut my own path. No one can tell me what to do. I love those blades. Is she gonna be uh, DPS? I am the cutting edge of fashion. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, Ooh. she's so cool. <laughs> Very cool. I, have you seen her doll? It's so cute. You could say that she's a cut above the rest, uh, if you will. Oh! 
Yeah, and I love her animation. Oh, I love so jokes sleek. like those. Yes. Yeah, super stylish. Major style points. Mm -hmm. I love her swords. They're super, super cool. Oh, they really are. Collection. Did you see that during her burst, she actually crosses them over to look like scissors? Oh, yes. no. Oh, yeah. I missed that. I didn't notice that. Good catch. Yeah. <laughs> Observers <laughs> often consider Giori Here we go. an unconventional designer. She has a unique way of designing her clothes. Aside from using her own oh, legs those are fabric, so cool. she also uses an automaton named Tamoto. Her longtime personal assistant is always ready to help produce and model her designs. Tamoto is indispensable to how you can she see the cut lines. her unique creative vision to the world. It's like she has an aura that proclaims to everyone, this is fashion. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, totally. Chiori's found an ingenious way to incorporate her design-making assistance into combat, too. During her elemental skill, Chiori summons Tamoto to attack her opponents. She also performs an upward strike and deals damage to her enemies based on her attack and defense stats. I like, wait, I wait, really wait. like her Chiori combat. Chiori made that on herself? Wow, it's so intricate. Maybe she could expand into a new industry if she wanted. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> when her elemental skill is battle bots, Shiori can adjust the direction of her dash to attack enemies from multiple angles. And as an experienced businesswoman, <laughs> Shiori knows how to capitalize on favorable conditions. Shiori will summon an additional automaton when Tomoto oh. is active and there are other geo constructs on the field. Huh. Okay. By unlocking one of her specific talents, Shiori okay. can trigger special effects when using her skill or normal attack during the upward strike on her elemental skill. Oh, that's interesting. So it seems like you can even switch your active character by using her skill. Uh-huh. Her little assistant seems to save her a lot of trouble. Oh, absolutely. That's she really like cool. Waste her time on um trivial matters. If someone tests her patience, then I've really been into uh, leaping her lately. <laughs> Ooh, she already may be a professional designer, but she's also really fun to watch in combat. For sure. She already doesn't think that fashion stops at appearances it also needs to serve a functional purpose hmm. when chiori is in your active party and any of your characters are wearing a unique outfit or a non-default wing glider the whole team will have their movement speed increased oh that's what makes her a true designer our travels will definitely be smoother when she's in the party i mean and we did just get a free outfit forcing Whoa. chose so maybe not oh chiori tends to run into a lot of trouble oh. it might be because of her blunt personality but uh. unexpected problems often arise no matter how much she tries to avoid them mm. i'm sure that a straightforward person like chiori has her own methods of getting herself out of those situations quickly <laughs> it's possible chiori is an unconventional designer with a clear vision she isn't afraid to go after what she wants and that approach has made her very successful Chiori will do anything to make sure the Chioria brand becomes renowned throughout all of Tibet. So she's always looking for ways to increase its exposure. I mean, she Such does look like a really fun Geo. Fashion Week. Hmm. Ooh, I bet she probably has to go all out on Fashion Week. Chiori's story quest, the Sisoria chapter. Ooh, a new story quest. Let's go. Travelers will be able to accompany Chiori as she confronts unexpected challenges during Vontaine Fashion Week. How curious. What I love story quests. We'll have to wait and see. But I'm sure that Kirara will be there to help Chiori, being her good friend and all. Oh, I can't wait to see what kind of interactions they'll have. <laughs> I should mention that Chiori also designed Kirara's outfit. Oh, so Kirara is one of Chiori's clients. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. If you want to learn more about Chiori, then be sure to check out her story quest when it becomes available. I definitely Actually, will. Travelers won't just be spending time with Chiori. Lynette's hangout event will also be available in version 4.5. Nice. After travelers complete her quest, they'll receive a special reward. The Fatometer. The Fatometer? Oh, this I need to do some hangout tool. events. You I haven't done them yet. You can a number from a hat when you interact with the Fatometer. So if travelers are ever stuck on a decision, they can use the fatometer as an interesting solution. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, if you're farming for artifacts or enhancement materials in co-op mode, you might run into a situation where multiple people want to use the same character. Mm. But you can decide a winner by drawing a random number with the fatometer. 
It seems pretty convenient, right? Hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Especially if you're as easily overwhelmed and indecisive as I am. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a lot of content to explore, then you can even use the fatometer to decide where you should start. Interesting. Back and forth. <laughs> yeah. How about we try the fatometer and see what you? Yes. Oh, Let's first. see what it is. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Have we decided 15. what the numbers mean? Oh, uh, how about this then? Whoever draws the largest number gets to introduce the next piece of information. Ooh. Okay. Though I think I'll be sitting this one out. I already got to introduce Chiori. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right, I'll go. Oh, oh so it's almost like uh, rolling a die. I get it. Oh, my turn. It probably goes up to 20. Oh. Ooh, 12. Hey, We're not bad. So close. <laughs> Well, it seems like Zach is the winner. Take it away, big man. Let's go. Uh. Let's go, baby. <laughs> we'll have a vent uh, from Ito. Chiori and Ito in the first uh. half of version 4.5. A new five-star sword. Oh, look at that sword. On the weapon event banner. That is mm. sexy. Small spoiler for you. Oh? The new five-star sword comes with a defense bonus. <gasps> Whoa. So it's not just a good weapon for Chiori. Might also work for Albedo. <laughs> That's something that travelers will have to try out for themselves. Nervalette and Kazuha will oh. also rerun in the second half. Nervalette, Kazuha. Be sure okay. to check them out if either of them interests you. Oh, and that's not all. It looks like we also have information about a new type of wish. A new type of wish. wish. Ooh. Ooh. That? Yeah. Let me explain. A new type of banner will be available starting from version 4.5, the Chronicled Wish. Okay. The Chronicled Wish banner will allow travelers to obtain a variety of characters such as Klee and Dilu. Nice. They'll also be able to obtain weapons such as Hunter's Path and Wolf's Gravestone. Okay, so we can select the five-star character that we want or the five-star weapon that we want. Won't it be kind of hard to pull for exactly who you want or what you want? Nope. You can chart a specific course for the character okay. or weapon that you want. Plus, it only takes a maximum of one fate point to guarantee your target. You're also guaranteed an item that matches your target type. For example, if you're targeting a specific five-star character, whatever you end up pulling is guaranteed to be what? a character. Oh, the huh. same is true for weapon pulls. Okay. That's neat. Seems like a great opportunity for travelers to make up for missing out on certain characters and weapons that they wanted. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. There's one thing that I have to clarify. Oh. These new banners will only feature five star characters that have had at least three character event wishes and have not appeared on any recent banners. Mm. All right. More details about the chronicled wish banners Interesting. will be revealed in an official announcement. Be sure to keep an eye out if you're interested in them. I hope also, it's version 4.5 will introduce a training guide system to make it easier for new I travelers to I hope it's cheaper to, to get we'll these characters. More later on in the program. Like there's okay. it's uh we just finished the event which a higher percentage the to get them. Let's take a short break while we display the second redemption code. Awesome. <laughs> Sounds like Give us those primos. <laughs> All right. Welcome back to the version 4.5 special program. Let's move on to the next bit of content. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Let me see here. What do we a got? Bottle? Huh. Ooh. What is that? Strength potion? And judging from the shape of the glass and the color of the liquid, I'm guessing that the bottle has something uh, to do with If we alchemy. got like health potions oh. and stuff like that, that would be amazing. Maybe Mondstadt is also involved? Bingo. Huh. Next, we're introducing an event that takes place in Ooh. Mondstadt. It's an alchemy event. Yay. As the city of Mondstadt continues Dialogues to develop, its leaders are busy sages with planning for the future. Polearm? The Knights of Favonius have always been conducting alchemy research, and they've been looking for a way to showcase their results. Lisa Ooh. came up with the idea to open a potion shop. Oh, look at that! The people of Mondstadt can learn more about alchemy, what? and the Knights can better understand their needs. Everybody wins. Neat. That sounds super exciting. I'm a sucker <laughs> yeah, for potions. Especially since travelers will get to run the potion shop during this event. What? Oh, and what'll that look like? In the alchemical ascension event, Yo. travelers will need to cultivate herbs, brew potions, and sell their products to oh. increase the shop's revenue and expand their business. Oh, what? With the management sim. Ooh, I That's know. awesome. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> travelers who build up the revenue and run the shop smoothly will be able to earn various rewards. What is that polearm? Gems and a four-star polearm. 
dialogues of desert sages. And it sounds like it would be great for Sino. Travelers can also look forward to meeting familiar hey. companions at the shop. Beidou, Yula. Travelers can scale their business even faster if they fulfill these special customers' requirements. Oh, hmm. Sounds pretty neat. Yo, look at those yeah. potions. <laughs> That's all I have to announce about this event. What's the next bit of news? I'm curious about that pole arm. I feel like oh, we don't even need to introduce Invocation? This Everyone can understand that our upcoming content is about cats. Uh, it's like I've returned home. <laughs> <laughs> Julia's already gotten into character. Meow. Hey, wait, wait a second. Sucrose also has animal ears, right? Hmm. Well, she doesn't have a tail, though. Oh, so Sucrose isn't part cat? No comment. Wait, really? She's not? Ahem. <laughs> <clears throat> We've completely gone off topic. Let's get back to introducing the most Aww. important event, the Feline Fortress Ferdisi. <laughs> the Traveler and Paimon have encountered all sorts <laughs> of strange creatures during their journey through Tevat. But this time, they've decided to take some time to visit the familiar cat's tail. Nice. Uh, Since they've been on the road for so long, there's no better way to relieve your fatigue than spending time with some cuddly cats. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Lovers of Tevat, unite. Meow. <laughs> Unless you're venti. Really nice. <laughs> this event doesn't actually take place at the cat's tail. Oh, what? A kind-hearted person recently prepared a new space for the cats to play to their heart's content. Travelers simply no. need to set up fluffy feline homes for the cats, satisfy specific target requirements, and what? provide the cats with their favorite food. <laughs> Only then will travelers be able to play with their furry friends at the throne of meow. What? But, yeah, playing with cats no can way. be a little tricky. They'll oh, get geez. angry if you do something that makes them uncomfortable just do your best <laughs> once travelers have become good friends with all of the cats it's like a tamagotchi to a Genshin. Yep. that's awesome and it seems like you're already a very good friend to the cats hey you know what all this cat talk reminds me of mm -hmm. card games <laughs> here we go baby associated right I can definitely see travelers returning to the cat's tail to play some genius invocation TCG oh yeah with all those cats play with the cats Play some cards, play with cats, play some cards. Suddenly, I feel like there's not enough hours in the day. <laughs> <laughs> you might oh, be in that's catching for you. Version 4.5 is adding even more new cards, events, and challenges to Genius Invocation TCG for all travelers. Aside Here from playing with cats and engaging in card games, the developers also prepared some challenges that will give travelers the opportunity to show up their skills. Ooh. In version 4.5, travelers will meet two guard members in Fontaine. One of them is a genius inventor who rejected an invitation from the Fontaine Research Institute three times. <laughs> nice. <laughs> sure seems like there three times it wasn't. I wonder if that place has so many cool inventions. This genius inventor will lend the traveler a remote charm. cannon that he invented <laughs> to take down a fearsome hilly churl rogue. Uh, I meant that the cannon will be used to take down. Yo, <laughs> that's cool too. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the marbles that we would play with when we were younger. Oh yeah. Yeah. Totally. That was a terrible so shot. In this event, travelers will remotely operate a turret to fire elemental shells at an. This horde of slimes. <laughs> Try to defeat as many slimes as you can by triggering elemental reactions. I love little mini games the like this. The more points you earn, the more it's so much fun. You can obtain. Ooh. Yes, Give me I'll take those rewards. Equipment will those primo gems. I want it all. Using them will net you even more points. Sweet. Okay, our next event involves a mysterious concoction called the Phase Potion. Oh, a Phase Potion. Very potion-oriented. Right? If I remember correctly, he's a researcher from the Amorta Darshan. Huh? Didn't the Traveler participate in a bunch of experiments to help him with his thesis? Yep. Oh. He's made some improvements since then, and he's waiting for someone to test them out. Hmm. <laughs> in previous challenges, what you the? have to wait for the potion to take effect. This time, travelers will automatically enter time dilation mode when you enter the challenge arena. Oh. You can even take Whoa. pictures when this mode is active. Neat. Mm -hmm. Time will resume when you move or use any type of skill. You'll enter time dilation mode again once you stop moving or using your skills. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, that's as long cool. As you don't move after unleashing a skill. It's pretty sweet, right? You get some pretty cool <laughs> sure pictures with that. We'll be able to take tons of cool pictures of the characters. Yeah, absolutely. Travelers will also need to focus on accumulating phase force during combat. Phase Once you have force. enough of it, you'll be given an advantage that will help you complete the challenge. Hmm. 
Awesome. Cool. Also, the Leyline Overflow event will be returning in version 4.5, so nice. don't miss out, you guys. Hmm. Well, we've finished introducing all so, the events. So, I mean, quite a few events. 5. Uh, next up, we have. Uh, well, wait a second. We've oh. just announced a lot of information, don't you think? That's true. Let's Primos? take a short break and look yes. at the last redemption code before we continue. Yeah, that's a good idea. Then we'll see everyone on the flip side. Oh, see yeah. Bye bye. I'm gonna get my 100 Primos. I'll be right back. Welcome back. In addition to the new events in version 4.5, the developers also planned a few system optimizations. Let's take a look. Yeah. After version 4.5, travelers will be able to view a character's talent upgrade materials on the character talent. Nice. Menu. Hopefully, this helps everyone oh. understand what materials they need in order Thank to improve. Thank goodness. Skills. I actually Remember like that a lot. Guide that we mentioned earlier. That's also a new feature that's coming to version 4.5. Ooh, okay. Travelers who are adventure rank 12 or higher and have completed the quest. Ooh, I like this. Will be able to refer to this guide by accessing the Paimon menu. Nice. Menu. This guide will provide enhancement goals and suggestions based on the levels. I really like that. And talents of your characters. It also takes your maximum world level into account. Hopefully, this guide will be helpful to travelers who've just started their journey. I really Tavast. like that. Yep, this guide was designed as a helpful resource for travelers who are relatively new to Tavat. There's so much to discover in Oh, nice. Tavast. I'm sure that travelers will eventually figure out the best system for them. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Exploring all those possibilities is part of the fun. Totally. <laughs> So far, we've just been covering the in-game content. Whoa! But we also have some external news to share. During version 4.5, Genshin Impact will be teaming up with the Discovery Channel what? to launch benefit events that raise awareness about environmental oh, conservation. Oh, that's awesome! Genshin characters will serve as ambassadors for specific natural landscapes, and they'll be embarking on a journey with all the travelers out there. Wow, oh, so okay! Such a cool collaboration. That I love yeah, that it. is really cool. <laughs> During version 4.5, travelers can also look forward to the release of the Chenyu Vale OST album. Oh, yes. Redolence. The album will be comprised of two discs, which feature over 50 tracks by the Hoyo Mix team. It will contain music from version 4.4. It even includes the music featured in the Lantern Rite Festival and Shen Yun's story quest. Awesome. Yes. So cool. no, I can't wait. <laughs> I love right. the music in Seems like Genshin. We've delivered all of the information. Wait, does that mean that we've come to the end of the special program? Hey, I mean, no, it looks already. like a lot of fun, yeah, a lot of fun events. Exactly. Really I'm very excited okay, about that potion one. I'm super excited for the cat cafe. Yes. Oh, yeah, the cat yes. cafe. <laughs> yes. Immediately, 100%, 110%. I'm also really excited for everyone. Super to excited. I mean, like they met her, but I I'm torn. To, like, it's like I want Chiori. I want Ito. Yeah. Yeah. See her cool sword, uh, scissor. See attack. one so new cool. yes. <laughs> Kazuha. I mean, I'm I mean a bias, but you know. I mean, and, I think that's fair. <laughs> yes, We're very fair. Thank you, thank you. I will so probably much. end up spending a lot of time on the Rolling Crossfire event too. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the yes, events do I look like a lot of fun. Those slimes. Destroy the slimes. I will. Gonna just roll with it then, huh? A great in between <laughs> version. I had to. I had to. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Bye, everyone. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Version 4.5. Yeah. See you later. See you again. I like it. I like it a lot. I gotta say, I do actually There's really enjoy like these simple updates that they add. Like being able to see what items are required required to be upgraded. It is such a small thing, but. I like having to click on this and then go to level up and then see what I need it is like uh it, it, it's tedious it's tedious work so being able to see what items I need to level up talents and this whole training guide is beautiful I am like one thing that I have noticed uh especially trying to build my Sino party having to go and google uh like build guides it, it is so annoying because there are so many different websites to use and everybody has something different oh mike you should build such and such this way you should get this and it's a bit overwhelming and you don't know which one is better so being able to just stay in genshin not worry about googling builds 
Uh, this is beautiful, and I love this. It's it's uh, just a, a great addition. I like it, but overall, version 4.5 looks like a lot of fun. Uh, like the uh, potion event, we do have the 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 cats, Chiori, uh, the banners look great. Am I going to pull for any of them? I don't know. I don't know. That is still up in the air, but that is it for the video, ladies and gents. Let me know what you think for, of version 4.5. Are you excited for it? Uh, I know I am. I mean, we're going to get Primos. I am very excited to see what that four-star pole arm is. We are getting uh, a new banner system, which is very interesting. I can't wait to see uh, what that is exactly. But all in all, version 4.5 looks like uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. But that is it, ladies and gents. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!